Hello guys, welcome back. Another episode of the vanilla server here. As always, I am Jason, even though I sound like I am Nepris. <laughs> Uh, I'm back from PAX, and so we're back to resuming our videos here um, in support of Extra Life Charity. We've currently raised $12,015 for Extra Life Charity. Uh, and if you're not already aware, which I'm sure most of you are, I pledge to make an episode here for every $500 we raised. Um, as of the time when I left for PAX, we had done... 21 episodes, 22 if you count the three we're doing for the money Kurt raised, which I'm not counting those towards the, obviously towards the money you guys have sent in. Uh, so this will be episode 22, which will reach the 11,000 mark. So two more episodes after this one that you guys have donated towards, plus the two more episodes I'm going to play with Kurt. So, what are we doing today, good, you might wonder. Well, if you watch all of episode 500... You'll you'll have seen the part where I blew all this up, or not blew it up, but uh, tore it all down and let the mobs flow in, and I fought them. It was after the credits, so if you uh, if you ended the video whenever uh, the uh, this day in Minecraft came on, you would not have seen it actually. Um, sometimes there's extra stuff. <clears throat> so, what have I decided to do? Well, after that episode, you guys commented on how spider mechanics work, and I was not aware that signs make them fall. I'm an idiot. So I've changed this to add signs so that the spiders are more likely to fall down um, or not climb up. And then they'll come down to here. And then there's a little drop now where things will get crushed. And I've also left a gap up at the top where items don't go shooting off into the middle of nowhere. Let's open this back up. Um, but today I'm not going to work on making them all die. I have another plan for this area. And that is what we're going to work on today. So what I want to do here, I'm going to put these blocks back because they're not... Hmm. Hmm. What I want to do here is create a mob elevator. And the reason why I want to do that is I think it will be fun. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make an area where mobs can, from here, climb up. I don't think this is going to have to go. And the reason why I want to do that is I think it will be fun to have mobs pour out the top of this thing. Um, so... And while I'm digging this out, we will talk about PAX East. So as you guys know, I just got back from PAX East. Um, I talked about, uh, I made a video after I got back because my voice is all jacked up. And a lot of people have told me to get well. I'm not actually sick. I just blew up my vocal cords uh, at all the parties, basically, yelling over music. So I am not, I do not have the con crud, as many of you have commented. Um... A lot of people commented, in fact, that I'm always getting sick of these things, and I'm actually never getting sick of these things. I've, I don't think I've ever gotten sick at a convention. I do come back and never have a voice, pretty much, always. Um, I'm not normally as bad as Jay Sano. Jay Sano is normally, like, completely voiceless after one of these. He basically sounds like me, normally, after these these things, but um, no, I'm, normally, I'm normally in good shape. I don't, I don't normally get sick when I travel. I don't know why that is. I used to think that... Um, uh, airborne was this thing that was saving my life, but I haven't taken airborne in a while, um, and I still haven't been getting sick. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's. Oh shit. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't know where exactly we're hitting here. Let's we'll see. Hopefully, it's not the walkway. Of course, it's the walkway. Of course, it's dead fucking corner of the walkway. In fact. Okay, that'll be okay. We'll put glass here. We'll have it where it walks around, and you'll be able to see the mobs as they flow up. No big deal. In fact, that's actually kind of cool that it worked out like that. 
Um, but uh, so anyways, got there on Thursday. I'm just gonna go through the whole convention here in this episode. Uh, got there on Thursday, and of course, convention on, starts on Friday. So we went over to um, to the convention center and got our media badges and panelist badges and all that good stuff. There's a lot of us that couldn't make it. Um, it all started with the with the whole house thing, which uh, people have asked for updates on that. Basically, the woman completely ignored um, our our letter uh, from the lawyers, and the advice the lawyers have given is that it would just cost too much money to hire a litigator there in Boston, um, and in the end, it wouldn't be worth worth our time or money. So, as as with things, how they normally work, the assholes win in the end. Um, <laughs> but uh, anyways, aside from that. So there was quite a few of us that weren't there. Badge didn't get to go. Jacino didn't get to go. So, so several people didn't get to go as a result of different things. Um, never sent up not coming because of the snow. Um, so there was less of us than, than we than we had anticipated, but uh, it was okay. We ended up getting hotel rooms um, after the whole housing thing fell through. Uh, we used the exhibitor uh, information to get a hotel help hotel rooms there. Which means we all spent a hell of a lot more money than we would have on a house. Like the house total is about three hundred dollars per person versus a hotel room that's about twelve hundred dollars, um, which we split in half. So you know, basically per person price doubles as a result of the the whole house crap. Um, but uh, we pretty much took it easy Thursday night. Uh, there was an Italian place we had ate at the year before at PAX, and so just us the Minecrackers went there together. Um, and it was as good as always. Uh, I can't remember the name of the place, to be honest. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's just a front for uh, the mob. <laughs> like last year when we were there, the owner was just sitting there at the bar. Uh, this really old man. And then once again this year, he was just sitting there. But he had a younger man with him. And like uh, like our Uber was taking forever to get there. And like they were like, oh, yeah, let me, let me assist you, sir. And like, I don't know. It was all like, it felt very, very, very gangster -y. <laughs> We all agreed. Um, yeah, I don't know. The place is really good, though. I don't remember the name of it, though. It's there in Boston. <laughs> so to script, right? Um, it's like... I would tell you, but I would lie. It's like Dolce De Vita Restaurant or something. I don't know. Don't remember. Um, so that was our Thursday. Not a lot to it. Uh, we... Um, Went back to our hotel room and like had a few drinks and went to bed. That's basically it. Um, then Friday, uh, Friday's the day that they open the expo hall early if you have a media pass. So it was supposed to be me, Chad, um, Sevidus, and I think that's it actually. Um, they were going to go at 9, but the Twitch party was also that, that night. So they decided that they didn't want to get up that early. So I, I went alone um, to the, the media early access. And I always plan to like get all these things accomplished in that hour. Um, I did not get a lot accomplished. I did. I got, I got a chance to walk around the expo hall and just record everything. Um, so I'll try to include that footage here. Oh, 
enjoyed that um, <laughs> and uh, so after I, after I basically made made my way around the expo hall um, I was gonna go check out some games uh, but I stopped by the super fight booth to talk to the creator uh, Darren and ended up talking to him from 9 until 10 or basically it's like 9 15 until 10 and then once they made the announcement that the expo hall doors were open I was like oh crap well I missed my chance that's basically your only chance to really get around and actually talk to all the game vendors without a line. Um, and so I, I'd miss that because I spent the whole time talking to Darren. Um, so I don't really remember what all we did from there. We had a meet up, a meet and greet around one. Um, so I walked around and looked at some indie games, talked to a couple game developers, uh, some on that day. And then we did our, we did our, we went and had lunch. And then we did our meet and greet um, outside, and it was cold as balls, man. It was so cold. Um, I, don't, I don't really have like a winter jacket because I'm pretty warm natured as it is. So like, I don't know. I don't normally wear like a thick jacket. So all I really have is this Bioshock um, hoodie that I I consider my jacket. And they kept picking on me like it's not a jacket. It's not a jacket. No jacket, dude. Um, so apparently it's not a jacket, according to Zisto and others. Um, I still consider it to be my jacket, though. Anyways, um, so I was cold. It's very cold. Uh, we did not... So normally we do the meetup, like, right inside the convention hall. Uh, but for whatever reason, they were being more strict about getting into the convention hall. Even though the will call is right inside the door there... So, like, if you don't have a badge, you need to go in and get your, like, pick up your badge at will call. So, like, I don't know why they were being so strict about people coming in without a badge. Because sometimes you have to get in the building without a badge. Um, but for whatever reason, they were being strict about it. And so we ended up doing the meetup outside. And after after a while, we ended up moving in, inside. And then, because it was only, like, two or three people that didn't have a badge. Um, and so they, they just left. And we, and we moved inside and continued to hang out with people and talk to them and everything. Um, and so that went on for a couple hours, probably about two hours or so, and then we, uh, we went back down to the Gameless booth, talked to those guys some, and walked around the Expo Hall a little bit, and then we left, uh, because like I said, it was the Twitch party night, um, and we wanted to eat dinner beforehand, I don't normally eat dinner before we go to those things, because they always have lots of food, um, but, uh, Sevens was worried that I don't know he wouldn't have a chance to eat once we got there, so we went and had dinner. We ended up getting the Twitch party a little bit late, which was you know no big deal. Um, and uh, right, I'm gonna get rid of you for now, my friend. You must go. Um, and Twitch party was the best Twitch party there's ever been by far. Um, I normally, I mean, I'm not. I'm much of a party type of guy, I guess. I don't know. Like even when we have normally have our parties, I'm like semi antisocial. I don't know. Just I enjoy hanging out with people I already know. But I'm not very good at meeting new people or something. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm just not. Even when I get really drunk, I'm not like. I don't know. Your typical party guy, I guess. I don't know. Um. So anyways, uh, Twitch Party was the best, though, because it was just, the, the venue was amazing. Just this huge place. It was like Jack's something, trip, fuck, what was the name of the place? Um, anyways, it's really good. The location was amazing, and uh, I lost a piston. Where did it go? Did I get a piston? I did get a piston. Um, there was this huge room filled with pool tables. Um, that was VIP only, and uh, the music wasn't loud, so it was like perfect place to just kind of hang out, talk to your friends, um, 
meet people, etc., without having to scream and lose your voice. <laughs> so, um, I need more wood. That's what she said. Um, so that was great. I uh, we played some pool. I hadn't played pool in a long time. I used to be really good at pool. I played in some leagues when I lived in Texas and stuff like that. Um, but it's been a while. And uh, so I wasn't quite sure, but Slowpoke, the creator of Feed the Beast, he, he challenged me to a pool game. And I performed so well. It was like, it was amazing. It was just like the best day of my life or something. I don't know. It's like I haven't played pool in forever, but it's just like riding a bike or something. Um, and uh, I like almost ran the table just from the break. And uh, he only got to shoot once, if I remember right. And I made this crazy bank shot to sink the eight whenever I got to go again. And uh, he had thrown out $20 on the table. He was like, there's no way you can make this bank shot. And it was, oh, it was just great. Chad wanted to record it. I was like, no, if you record it, I won't make it. And then I made it. And he was like, should have recorded it. And that was a cool story, bro. That's the story. Um, there's spider spawn. They're going to come up here and say hi in a second. Uh, wood. So can spiders climb ladders? I need something to, to hold this water up that spiders can climb. I don't know what spiders can climb. So we have to find out the answer to that question today on this episode of Mythbusters. I guess the best way to find out is to go down here. And stick some ladders in here, see if the spiders climb up. Um, so Twitch party was amazing. We left there. Chad's got a video. <laughs> so Chad made this video. Uh, so as as with any any location, um, at uh, at two a.m. everything closes down or whatever, and you you got to go. Um, and that was so different at this bar. Are you an infinite spring? You're not. Why you no be? I guess you can't make it if it's spring suspended on ladders. In fact, let's give me you back. I'm gonna need it for the spring. Um so we get outside and Chad is not with us. And I'm like, where's Chad? And they're like, uh, he's probably at the coat check. And I'm like, I will go get him. The man did not need saving, but I decided he did. Uh, so I like go to go back in the location. They're like, you can't go back in. And I'm like, but I have a wristband. They're like, yeah, yeah, but, but we're closed, man. And I was like, I left something at the coat check. And they were like, are you sure? And I'm like, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I go back inside, um, and I find Chad at the coat check and he's like, you are so drunk. And I'm like, I am not that drunk. And he's like, I'm going to record a video of you right now. And uh, I won't upload it, but I want to show you later how drunk you are. And so he did, and I was. And, uh, yeah, there's that story, <laughs> pretty much. It's the summary of uh, the thing. That, the cool thing that came from that is um, Loot Crate's been contacting me for a little while about doing Loot Crate uh, on my channel. And I haven't been sure if I want to. Um, it seems like something fun, but I just never really looked into the Loot Crate that much. And at... At the coat check, they were giving everyone a loot crate box. So I got a loot crate box. And when I got back to my room, I was looking through the loot crate box. And it's actually really damn awesome. So uh, I've talked to them. And I'm going to start doing loot crate on my channel um, here in the near future, I think. That's the plan, at least. Okay, spiders, what are you doing? Beautiful. 
beautiful. I love you, spider. I'll kill you now. Where's the other ones at there? Now we got zombies. Hmm. Like, what are they doing? I guess they'll get pushed in here once there's more mobs. Oh, maybe it's the side thing? Is that what's happening? Are they getting messed up on my little, my little room here? Guy. This is not your personal jacuzzi. Let's see if that was it. Um, and so we get outside, and everyone's trying to leave the Twitch party all at the same time. And Chad has this idea: we should walk a few blocks in the fucking negative billion degrees, cold ass weather. And so that's what we did. We walked a few blocks, found a cab. I barely remember it. I drank a lot. Hmm. I want to believe that this will still work once I get enough mobs going in there. So. We're going to go with that, that it will work. Um, I'm going to get some glass, fill this up with the water all the way up to the ceiling, and then we'll give it a test here. Um, really quickly, though, that was, I guess while I go grab those things, I will finish the story. That was Saturday, or that was Friday. Uh, Saturday, we did a sign at the Game List booth, um, which was awesome. I had only, we'd only brought 500 of our poster cards with us total. Uh, 250 old ones and 250 new ones. We got rid of all of those at the convention, so uh, we actually ran out um, and we had people asking for more. Uh, so I guess that's good and bad because um, so we didn't get to get a poster card, but also we got rid of all 500. Um, and uh, the plan is to print special ones for every event from now on uh, because we got some pretty big plans going uh, into the future conventions here. Um, but I'll talk about that probably in another episode or maybe in this episode. Um, Saturday night was pretty boring. We just went back to our hotel um, after dinner. We had dinner with Curse. Um, and then after dinner, we, uh, we went back to the hotel room and spent about two hours working on our panel for the next day. Um, and that was pretty much our Saturday. Um, Sunday was our panel which was, in my opinion, our best PAX panel ever. Um, we ended up playing Super Fight there at the end of our panel, um, which was a lot of fun. Uh, what, what had happened the night before is we kept talking about Super Fight. We kept getting in these discussions about Super Fight every time we'd start talking about our panel. And uh, Ari was like, let's just play Super Fight for an hour. And we all had a laugh, and then we were like, wait a second. There's something here. Here, we got a, There's an idea here we can use. Um, so we decided then that we would play Super Fight at the... Well, it started we were going to introduce ourselves by playing Super Fight. Um, so like, I'm good and i six inches tall or whatever. Um, then we thought maybe that would be confusing to people that... Sevenus is of the opinion that the people that go to our panels do not know... The majority do not know who we are. I disagree with them. Um mainly because of the number of people we see at the signings and stuff after um, that clearly know who we are. But some of us think some people just see gaming as a group and... Hey, that's a good addition. Who did that? Um, see gaming as a group and base... This whole Somebody changed this whole thing, in fact. Uh, and they just... Um, that's why they're there. They're not there to say know who Minecraft is. And maybe... I, I do believe that that is the case for some people. I don't think it's the majority. Um, but um, at any rate, I don't remember why I said all that. <laughs> oh, right. Because uh, there was another. We also talked about us each picking another Minecracker. Since since you know not everyone could be at the panel, we thought we could represent the other Minecrackers by us each picking one of them as the person we were. So for example, I'm Milby and I'm six inches tall. Um, just just to give an example of of how that would work. Um, 
but we ended up deciding basically what we did, which was uh, to finish off our panel with a hand of super fight, uh, which I think went really well. Beef was a little worried that no one would know what super fight was, which uh, we disagreed because, I mean, Darren has been telling us, he's the creator of the game, by the way, uh, has been telling us that he'll, people come up to the booths a lot and they'll be like, they'll be trying to buy the game and he'll be like, well, let me tell you about it. Let me teach you how to play. And he's like, and they're like, no, 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 I've, I've seen the Minecraft video. I don't need to know. <laughs> he's like, uh, so basically you guys are our tutorial at this point. Um, all right. I need to go get more wood for ladders, but um, I'm going to finish this off, and then we'll see how it works here. Um, but that's pretty much PAX. Uh, we uh, you know, we did our panel. Uh, panel was fantastic. Uh, did our signing after our panel um, at the game with Booth again, which I told them I was going to do that, but I don't think I relate it well enough because when we when we showed up with, like, 400 people they were like oh my god <laughs> they thought like a couple people would come down after the panel they were not expecting the 400 that showed up so but it worked itself out and it was all good um and then we had our party uh the last night which we threw together within two days because after the whole house stuff happened we had looked for a location couldn't find one um Approaching Armand and Professor Shy Guy have been looking for locations. None of us could find one. Slowpoke got lucky um, at a place they went to lunch at that had this huge area downstairs um, that was you know, a decent price for us to rent it out and stuff. So we were able to host our party. Um, with it being last minute, it turned out phenomenal. Um, and it seemed like everyone had a great time. Uh, we ended up having 104 people there total when I counted, um, which is small compared to what we did at South, but it was still, it was perfect, um, everyone could get around, move around, blah, 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 um, and so yeah, and that was the night I destroyed my voice, I was fine until that night, I was just constantly running around trying to talk to everybody, and like, make sure everything was okay, and I blew my voice box out, so, um, but anyways, uh, that is it for the PAX recap, I'm going to finish this little area here and show you guys the finished product. And uh, I'll be back in a minute. Hey, I'm back. And I'm joined by Chad now. Hey, watch him find you. <laughs> oh, well, it died. Uh, it died. It's gone. Uh, so um, we have uh, we have our our best friend Spooky Ghost and Easy CGI downstairs uh, spawning mobs. Oh, yeah. And um, it appears to be working pretty well, actually. <laughs> it's working great. <laughs> Are they all supposed to flow down into the uh, river? I guess. I, you are polluting. Uh, you, I thought you were a green man. <laughs> You're I, green. I just wear green. I'm not <laughs> Gotta save the environment. You're littering. <laughs> just covering the ground and little <laughs> bones and, you know. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I, I wish it was nighttime. I, I'd like to see. I don't know. Come down here. Oh, oh you're down here already. You probably ended pro, didn't you? No, yes. <laughs> no, yes. It looks like when they got down here uh, from us, from when we were standing on the mountain, they despawned. Out. Ah. So that's why there's, they're here now. I see. No. Oh. I wonder if they will despawn once they get to the top of the... Uh... Ouch, these skeletons are the ones that hurt the most. <laughs> Freaking... I, I mean, this is definitely a mountain of doom. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mob, mob volcano. Mm -hmm, I guess mm -hmm. what I'll call it. Yeah, I think they're despawning when they get to the top. Are they? Because they must be. Here, I'm going to go up to the top. And then... I mean, they're just not heading down anymore. Right. I was wondering if they were getting hung up. Like, do you see a big pile of them up there or anything? No. I think I think they just got further far away... From us, and they just from us that, and there were so many. Oh, I'm on fire. I'm not in a good way here. Okay, there they go. <laughs> I'm not in a good way here. Hmm. Now they're trying to come back to you as they flow down. Yeah, Let's that's see. true. I'm now. I'm not a, now. I think in an inaccessible area. They're not gonna. Oh, they are. They're. Oh, they are stuck. Are they? Where at? Oh, a little bit. Yeah. Um. Here, I think I can fix that. Uh, there was the block that didn't have the flowing water. There's just a whole pile of them there. Okay. Yeah, we need them to Ooh, funnel down. Oh, yeah, here they come. 
<laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> that looks amazing. When you're like hitting them, they're just like dying midair and stuff. Yeah. Uh, pew! 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 There's a game here. I just don't know what it is yet. I like them on fire as they fly towards you. <laughs> yeah. It makes it look much more like a volcano. Okay, how do we shut this thing off? Okay, what? Oh, God. Um, no, off is not a not, not built-in <laughs> option. It has on. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, just an on. I guess the okay. game would be not let any get down. See if you can kill them as they come down. There we go. So now, now I think that the, uh... Oh, my word. <laughs> oh, my word. Okay, I'm getting out of here. Um, I'm poisoned. I'm on fire. <laughs> okay, I think I put down a block that will make them flow much easier. There they go. Oh, this is great. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah! I need more over by that lip. That was funny. <laughs> Ciao! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, man. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that is so funny. It's they're like their little legs are like, ah! <laughs> they're like, no, please! <laughs> well, that oh, that one made survive. it. Dude, that one made it. Oh, it's man. just how they go sideways. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, there's so much XP on the ground down here. I'm getting shot oh, by a skeleton. Man. I can't see. There he is. Okay, I gotta deal with some of these spiders here in a second. Are they getting hung okay. up? Or no, they just, no, the trying spiders to for some reason are. I think it's because the flow of water we have out of the chute is only one block, and so I think they can grab hold uh. and escape a little bit easier, and not get caught in the flow like every all the others. That's my assumption, by the way. Um, uh, er, that's my assumption, by the way. That's my <laughs> assumption. Dude, there's so <laughs> much XP down here on the ground. This is cool. Oh, it's becoming night. Oh, sweet. Oh, my God. So much stuff and XP. Yeah, barely any of them are getting caught now. Yeah, they're, they're, this whole the whole top of the mouth is clean. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that sounded. I don't even know. The mouth is clean. I'm happy to report from the top of Doom Mountain. The <laughs> mouth is clean. <laughs> uh, I want to like get naked and. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can we keep this to Minecraft? <laughs> oh God, they're they're really. Oh, they're after me. Uh, I'm gonna take all my armor off and like see if I can survive the night. See, yeah, I don't know about that. Man, there's a lot after me for a half second. I mean, this is like if this was in a CTM, it'd be bad. Right. Uh, I'm gonna make uh, an iron sword, and uh, that's all I'm gonna have. Iron sword. You want to give it a shot? Uh, uh, okay. Um. Well, here we'll need. Your spawn's probably not set either. Actually. No. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. Should, should uh, and now I'm in the middle of it all. Oh gosh. <laughs> I fell. I fell into the. Uh, into the actual volcano. Okay, we're half health here. We're doing fine. <laughs> we're doing. Fine. My armor is not the bet at at its at its best. Okay, so, I mean, I'm worried. Is, are we gonna? Are you gonna head back up to the top of the mountain? Because I think they're gonna despawn again. Oh, so, oh, I thought you saw that they weren't despawning. No, no. Oh, I don't know. Actually, come here, down I'll, and I'll see if they're. <sighs> oh gosh. Oh, okay. oh my gosh. The things at the bottom of this mountain right now. Okay, I'm at two hearts. Holy crap. Okay. I'm gonna put my stuff away. Sleep too. All right, that's a good point. Uh, okay, uh, where's the iron uh, swords and stuff? Oh, there, I see it. Okay. Okay, take that off. And then where's a bed? Um, Up in... You gotta go up. Okay. You know where to... Once you yeah. go up. 
forgot to eat food too. I think I put it in the chest. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah, your chicken's in the chest. Chicken in the chest. This should be our game. <laughs> what, what's the what's the, how did you play? Chicken, chicken in the chest. I don't know. Yeah, they're not despawning. They're they're all down here. Okay. If I only had an inner pearl, I could get you much faster. <laughs> well, you can leap out. There's water down below. We. Oh, oh, what's wrong with your water right here? Um, I put a sponge down to test it, and it oh. sucked all the water up. <laughs> Just destroy that area. Okay, I'm three hearts down. I'm not going to survive. Oh, no, we got this. Look at these. Look at these. Oh, my gosh. Okay, here we go. Watch out. What could ever go wrong? Uh, skeletons. That that's oh, probably right. yeah. That's what's gonna kill us. Actually, you're probably right. Oh my gosh, there's Ouch. so many. Oh, they hurt so much. I forgot what armor does. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's not. Oh gosh, <laughs> it's not that. Uh, uh, <laughs> you don't remember. It's just that it hurts so bad. You forgot. <laughs> yeah, it wiped my mind. It hurts so bad. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot what armor does. What does it do? Oh, man, we got it. Oh, 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 oh heart half. I <laughs> said half a heart. Are they still flowing off the top, does it look like? No. See, that's the thing is I think they despawn if no one's up there. Right. Well, that sucks. So I, I guess we need to make an arena at the top. All right, I'm at heart and a half. An arena at the top? That little baby was coming for you. He was. We got rid of most of them. Ouch. Two hearts. If you find armor, you should be allowed to wear it. Okay. If, like, they drop armor. Right. Oh, right in the face. I'd like this. That's, like, kind of a nice way to upgrade yourself. Yeah. Like, you start with nothing, except for an iron sword. I don't know. There's a game here somewhere. We just gotta work yeah, it out. It's a good game. That's a good game. Actually, whenever we're closer, they're coming Ooh. off again. So... Ooh. I don't know that we have to be at the top. We just have to stay. I don't know. Like, there's, there's like, there's some rules here that must be made in this game. No! Oh no! And I won. Yeah, and you just won. Oh! Oh, barely. <laughs> man, I had 32 levels too. The comments oh, are so mad right now. I don't even remember how many levels I had. <laughs> oh god. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's fun. I want to like make a tournament or something out of it. I don't yeah, know. no, I mean that's just, that's yeah. All it requires is two extra Minecraft accounts. Right, and we have those. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, I'm picking up my food, my items. It's the skeletons. Oh, yeah. yeah, the skeletons are the worst. You, you will have to create like an arena with like some areas where you could not get hit all the time by skeletons right i'm wondering if oh, i'm gonna die again i already feel it i can't find my sword oh i died well i see your sword <laughs> there we go Ooh. i wonder if uh, if any mobs are getting hung up or if they're all coming out we must g buy a third minecraft account right Find out. I thought some but if the arena's up there, it should be great. Yeah. Yeah, I can't find my chicken or my iron sword. Not a big deal. Some zombies probably holding it. Probably. They all seem to be holding string. Oh, yeah. That one's got an arrow. It's taunting me with it. You died in the water? I did. Like, ouch. Man, these freaking! I found some chicken. Yeah, that that would be mine. No, uh, no sword. Oh my god, I'm so dead. No. Oh, you missed, you son of a. I don't know why I said it like that. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make this into a mob grinder anymore. It's now an arena. Yeah, man, that's the best. <laughs> uh, well, thank Finally. you for helping me. Um. 
Chad, Chad, I, I had done it wrong. Chad helped me uh, figure out how to get the water to flow them up, by the way. Flow them up? <laughs> That's why they call me Flow Them Up Chad. <laughs> uh, I by the way, I just got leather pants that had no durability taken out of them. Wow. They were pristine leather pants. <laughs> the, they, that's what they're known as, the pristine mm -hmm. leather pants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have no sword. I guess this you... is yeah. This is going to be a much better arena than it is going to be a mob grinder. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's where the. Fun I mean, is. you can also maybe like switch it so it's like they flow one way or they flow the other. Right. I I wanted to do that. I don't know that I'm smart enough. Um. Here's here's what you do. I have a, I have a plan. A, a so you know how like plan? where the water flows uh to get up to the chute that goes up? Yeah. If you have you might be able to like do a drop where um you almost got n nerfed by that guy. Uh, <laughs> where like as they're flowing they could drop down if something's not turned on or something. Yeah. All right, I guess I could have them flow to the side too. I didn't think about that. Right. Like a wall comes in with pistons. And they flow to the right or left if if I want to grind them. Ooh. Oh, Jesus Christ, you just popped. <laughs> <laughs> you wrecked me. <laughs> yeah. I was not expecting that. I thought you were like well off, full health, and suddenly <laughs> you're just gone. Boom. <laughs> That's how it happens, man. That's how it happens. Um, well, I'm going to end my episode here. <laughs> Thank cool. I appreciate you coming out. No helping problem. me out with it. We'll have to work out an arena here. Have some kind of tournament. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, thanks, Chad, again. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. This is, this is a, uh, this is, this is, um, where's the, oh, God. Oh, God, there's things in my way. I gotta get out of here. Holy shit. Dude, I could have died. <laughs> All right. Let's get over here to the house this damn thing off. I need to see how far down I need to go. Because I want to do is I want to connect all four towers to something that connects me back over here to, to this area. So technically you could be up there in the tower and the next minute you'll be down here in uh, the secret laboratory. That's the plan at least. Um, but yeah, when I worked at Shoney's, uh, my boss, he looked just like Donald Sutherland. Keeper Sutherland's father. I used to, to joke about that. Um, there was a point to be telling you guys this. I don't remember what it was now, though. <laughs> uh, he had a big crush on my mom. I remember that. And uh, she was, uh, she didn't really want anything to do with him. I mean, he was a nice enough guy, you know. Um, he's an alcoholic, though. Well, when we first met him, he wasn't. He, uh, what happened here? Um, he ran the uh, the halfway house, actually, or one of the halfway houses there in Rock Hill. Um, but uh, and my mom, they, they, they were friends and everything, and uh, he kept trying to. Well, that, that freaked me out. I was like, "What has happened?" Um, he kept trying to date her, and he ended up uh, drinking himself to death. Actually, so my mom came over to his house to visit him, and. He had, uh, he had, he had died. That was, um, that was one of the stories I'd started to tell you guys before, and I, I said that, uh, my boss has shown he's died, and I said that that's another story, and you guys keep asking me to, to finish that story, so that's the end of that story, guys. Uh, that's what happened to him.